Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about the bipolar stepper motor interfacing with that of the PIC microcontroller. So you can see that we have opened our Proteus Design Suit 8.11. So in order to start new project, you should have to click on this new project tab. Now you can write any name of your own choice like stepper 0 or any other name. Then click on next and then finish. Now the Proteus windows is open. Okay, now we will take our bipolar stepper motor. This is bipolar stepper motor, so it has two, it has four pins. Okay, now you also need to take the bipolar stepper motor driver, so it is L293D. Okay, now place it like that. Its output pins that is 3, 6, 11 and 14 must be connected with the corresponding pins of the stepper motor. So we will connect it like this, this one, this one and this one. There is one ground pin. You can take ground okay, and connect it with this. Now there are two power pins that is VSS and VS. VSS must be connected with the 5 volt pin of the 18F452 that is microcontroller. But VS must be connected with the 12 volt because it is on the it is the driving voltage for the driver and stepper motor. So we will go and take our power pin. You, you do not just need to connect like a 12 volt specifically. You can take this power pin and connect it with the VS. So if there is any sort of power needed, it will provide. But for VSS, you need to connect it with the 5 volt. Okay, for it, we will take this DC. Okay, 5 volt and it is connected with the 5 volt. Now we will take our microcontroller. So we will write 18F452. So we have our PIC microcontroller. We will use the port C that, that actually starts from pin number 16 to 26. So we will connect it like this way. Okay, this and this. Okay, one more thing that enable 1 and enable 2 must be connected with each other. And they also need to be connected with the power pin. Like uh, this is power pin and like this. Okay, like this one. For for N3 and N4. We need to connect it with the RC2 pin and RC4 pin of the PIC microcontroller. So four pins are connected with the corresponding four pins of the stepper motor driver. We cannot directly operate the stepper motor on the microcontroller pins because microcontroller pins or GPIOs cannot offer so much power for to drive a motor. So one more thing that uh, there is one enable like pin that is called as M clear or VPP. So we also need to connect it with the power like this. Okay. And now our circuit is completed. Now we must have to go to the micro C program. So here you can see that we have written our program. Okay, so 
the first line is void main and this is our main function all the programming must be done within the void main function then we have written 8 con 1 is equal to 0 x 0 6 so this is a built-in command for to disable all the ADCs that is analog to digital converters then trace c is equal to 0 simply means that c port is declared as the output port if it is 1 c port must be the input declared as input and then port c is equal to 0 x 0 f it means that we have sent 0 on the first four pins of the port c and 1 on the first four pins of the port c because it is 8 bit port so it is uh, first 0 means 0 0 0 0 and f means 1 1 1 1 okay now after these lines we have initialized port and uh, this 8 con register then we will go towards our infinite loop that is wire 1 it will execute again and again so port c is equal to 0 binary then 0 0 7 0 and then in the last it is 1 so it is then delay millisecond of 500 means that the there is half second delay between the two lines so port c again is uh, the, because the first four first four bits are always zero okay so so we must have to consider the last four so in in the first line it is zero 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 one then in the second it is zero one zero zero then in the third it is zero zero one zero and then in the four it is one zero 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 so these are the four combinations for to rotate the bipolar stepper motor and there is a half second delay okay now okay now we need to run it we need to save it and we will like a steppy dot hex okay we will save it like this yes okay now our hex file is saved so so we must need to click it and here you need to go to your hex file location and so we will go in g and helper and steppy dot hex so we need to okay now we will run it and now we can see that first the our stepper bipolar stepper motor goes to 90 then 180 and then minus 90 and like this although it's uh, having some sort of mega stepping it is not stepping like uh, a continuous one but it is like the discrete or quantized type of stepping but uh, still you can operate via this method so hopefully you got the concept now you can run this simulation in your Proteus.